Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing the new pen model from Ferris Wheel Press. Now Ferris Wheel Press is a Canadian company who do really interesting things in the world of stationery and you know pens and ink and paper and all their packaging and letterpress stuff and all of that kind of thing. And really, they are geniuses of marketing. They have created an image for themselves uh, that has pro has really thrust their products into the like common fountain pen, you know, sphere, which is amazing. Uh, and so they came out with a new pen called the Carousel. It's a fountain pen. They had their well, they've got their brush fountain pen, which uh, is a little on the pricey end. This is like their entry level pen. Uh, so I'm going to talk about it and uh, we'll do writing sample and all of that kind of thing. So as you can see, it comes in this beautiful package. Like they really do their packaging beautifully. It's got this great gold in, like in foil on it and it's a beautiful teal sort of color. And, like it's, it's impossible for me to show this, like, but there's like a slight sort of rubbery texture to the, to the packaging that I really love. Now I have this pen in the Tattler's teal finish or oh, color there are uh, i think there are six colors there's a you know the a couple of greens and there's a, a pinky sort of color and a few you know uh bits and pieces that are really quite nice and so i i like this teal color i think the pen on face value i think has a really nice interesting sort of entry level look all plastic body uh, so let's talk about some parts and features on the top, we just get the injection molding little sort of nozzle there. This sort of like little step down. Um, and then we get this, I think it's, did I, say, did I realize it was 12 sided cap, um, which is faceted cap, which is quite nice. It's got some beautiful, simple, you know, printing embossed in it. Um, it's very nice. A little step down off the cap onto the barrel, which is cylindrical and then down to this little sort of grooved end and on the bottom of there we get ferris wheel press um and the uh little once again the injection molding nozzle please excuse the ink and stuff on my fingers i'm constantly working with the ink and paint and it's hard to keep up um so uh it is a yes as i said full plastic body pen it is a snap cap and it's got a nice snap on it and it reveals uh, a hexagonal six-sided uh section We'll step down where it caps and then uh, the ferris will press nib which when held up the other way gives the indication as to what sort of everything is it's got an m there for medium um as i said ferris will press are a canadian company uh, a couple of things they claim with this is firstly that uh, it has a custom ground uh nib uh with subtle flexibility so i want to i'm going to show you what i find with that in a little bit the pen is standard international cartridge and converter, and a converter is provided. Uh, no ink cartridge is provided. Uh, they do have a range of inks in everything from like three little glass vial sets through to big bottles and all of those kinds of things. That, and they're lovely inks. And, uh, you know, I think the design aspects of a lot of these things with this pen are, are quite nice. This is a medium, as I said, and the pen is available in fine and medium. Uh, and that's really all there is to kind of say at this point. Um, I think there are some things with this pen that are like, obviously they've gone for a particular design aesthetic and uh, uh, you know, they're all made in Taiwan and they say assembled and packaged and stuff in Canada. Um, it is a mass produced kind of pen. And I think that uh, when I get to the pros and cons, I've just got a few thoughts. Here we see it alongside the Lamy Safari, which uh, is a pretty standard size pen. It is a little on the smaller side. Personally, when I saw the first images of, the, of this pen, I was hoping for it to be a little bit bigger, and with that would come just a little bit more weight. It is very, very light. Uncapped, you can see it's still smaller there than the Lamy Safari. And posted, it is considerably smaller still. It does post relatively deeply, but not super securely. The dimensions of the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel Fountain Pen are 128 millimeters when it is capped. It is 118 when it is uncapped, and most people would find that sort of like a reasonable length, particularly for like short note-taking uh, note sessions or whatever the case may be. Posted, it is 144, but as I said, it doesn't post super securely. Like, 
it doesn't click on or anything like that. It sort of feels like it should do and then doesn't quite. Um, the grip section is straight and each of these facets is like 10 uh, millimeters. So it's not super big and it is very, very light. The entire pen inked weighs 11.5 grams, 7.5 in the body and four in the cap. So lightweight, slightly smaller pen. Time for a writing sample, and we have here the Ferris Wheel Press. Carousel. So this is the Tatler's teal color, and it is a steel, I suppose it's around like, a number five-ish nib, uh, and this is the medium. Now, I haven't taken the nib out and tried to put other nibs in it or anything like that. I'm simply reviewing the nib that comes on it. The ink I have in here is a Fer Ferris Wool Press ink. It is Ferris Wool Press Bluegrass Velvet, which I think is a pretty much a bang-on match uh, with this pen, which is good. So let's do some writing. Okay. Um, it writes well. It writes consistently and reliably. Quick writing. Fine, it keeps up, there's no skipping. It is a little bit sort of feedbacky. You can hear that. Uh, and I know that these microphones do pick that up a little bit more, but you can hear it's quite present. Reverse writing is actually pretty okay. Uh, but now let's get, oh, wetness. I'm, I'm not complaining about the wetness of this pen at all. It, has, you know, served very, very, very well in that department and, you know, never seems to have any issues with things like ink starvation or anything like that. But I made a claim earlier, well, they made a claim and I relayed it, that the nib is a, um, is described as a custom ground nib uh, with subtle flexibility. Now, looking at this nib up close, it is a fairly sort of standard round nib. I think it is on the finer side of medium, but that is perfectly fine by me. Um, Custom ground, I'm not sure what they mean. Like that pencil -y feedback, is that what they mean? I'm not sure, but if they're talking about subtle flexibility, like it is a nail. Like there is absolutely no bounce, no flexibility, no line variation to mention in this nib whatsoever. Um, so I'm really not sure what they're getting at when they say that. As I said, as a everyday standard writing nib, it's absolutely fine. But where is this subtle flexibility? The Ferris Wheel Press Carousel Fountain Pen uh, retails um, in Australia. And I will say right now that this pen was um, provided for me for review by Inked Pens, uh, who are one of the stockers of Ferris Wheel Press products here in Australia. Check out their website. They've got a great range of, of products. Um, and thank you to them for providing this. Um, it retails through them for $44.95. Now the Canadian price through Ferris Wheel Press is $34, $35, somewhere around there. Uh, and I've seen it at US prices for about $28. Now at $28 US, it puts it below a number of other fountain, you know, sort of entry level fountain pens, but it puts it above a number of them as well. And for me, something like the Caveco Pequeo is a much more, of, or the Pilot Kakuno, these are much more affordable fountain pens that have a lot of similar elements in terms of size, weight, uh, material, even design. Not that there is anything necessarily wrong with this pen, I just think it's, in terms of its price point, it's just a little high. Um, let's talk pros and cons. Now, I'm gonna start with cons, and there are a few. It is a super lightweight pen, and while lightweight can be good in some type, uh, occasions, and in this particular occasion, with the quality of the material and the way it sort of posts and clicks and all that kind of stuff, it just feels a little bit cheap. 
Once again, that price, I think it is slightly too high, just ever so slightly, a few dollars too, too much. Um, I personally find the grip section to be just on the on the slight side uncomfortable. Now, it is a six-sided uh, section, so basically you can hold it in the same way as you would a triangular uh, near, uh, grip section, like two on the top there with one in between and then one on the flat on the bottom, uh, but it just doesn't feel overly comfortable, and I think like it's a little narrow for uh, to have those flat facets all the way down. And the other thing is that the nib is slightly scratchy. Uh, I I can appreciate it and I can enjoy writing with it, but if you have a sensitivity to that, this is something that you should be aware of. The other thing I want to just bring up is the posting and the capping of this pen. Now, there there are two points in the in in the uh, capping, and you hear one little click, and then it feels quite nice and secure. And then you push it just slightly further, and you get another click, and it spins. Now, is that the carousel? Like, is that, an, is that a design element? If so, fine, it just doesn't feel great. And it's very hard to always get it to land on that first point where it doesn't rotate in your hand. And then secondly, the posting. Like, it doesn't click into post. It doesn't feel like, there's like a little tiny bit of resistance just there, but like, it takes so little to break that off. Um, and so it would, I, I feel like this would work its way free very, very easily from posted. Um, and so those are basic design things that I would expect to be a little bit more uh, refined. Now there are some pros. I think that the range of colors this pen comes in are great because they are not standard like blue, red, black, you know, kind of colors. There's, you know, interesting like sea glass green and this uh, Tatler's Teal, this Lady Rose, Forget Me Not. Uh, a range, French Vanilla is quite nice. There's a, a range of these colors that are slightly different and are interesting to look at. I love the packaging Ferris Wool Press use. Uh, they design it all and do it all themselves, and like they really nail it in in the design and you know application of their packaging. Um, it's really beautiful, and it's actually quite. Uh, it does make the experience of using and you know sort of um, receiving one of their pens uh, to be quite nice. Like it's it's a, it's a beautiful package. Like the what you get, like there's it's it's lovely. It's really lovely. Um, it's minimal, like that. That you know, it's it's got a nice feel to the cardboard. All of that, lots that is really enjoyable there. Um, I think it has a nice posted length. That length of one hundred and forty four is good, and the balance is fine because it's, it's such a lightweight pen, and there's no weight back there. It's it's absolutely fine. Um, and I think it has great flow. As I, like I showed, I have no problem with the wetness of this pen whatsoever, uh, or anything. It's just it writes fine, just a little bit scratchy. I just think my biggest concern with this pen is that it is in just slightly higher price point for the quality of the product you are getting in this occasion. I hope you found this video about the carousel fountain pen from Ferris Wool Press to be interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. Once again, a big, big thank you to Inked Pens for supporting this challenge by providing this and a number of other items over the years uh, for me to review. Um, I love to be able to share these products with you and give you my honest feedback. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy your pens. Enjoy writing. And I'll talk to you soon.